Located in Melbourne Fisherman's Bend, we propose a mega structure as an integrated space that combines living, working, studying, lifestyle, and transport as an entity. Here we introduce you the Fisherman's Bend Rejuvenation. Super Studio, a radical Italian art group, has projected our future perspectives. Their ideas like cosmic order and a super surface came from the architectural module system and argued a possible future with a flawless connection between the community, which inspired our rejuvenation design in Fishman's Bend. As a case study, the line is recently initiated in Saudi Arabia. The mega structure with a reflective surface will stand alone in the desert, showing the possibility of construction on such a scale. According to the official developed scope, the business district will provide employment for up to 80,000 people. Our consideration started by connecting essential areas together with the megastructure. A series of analyses are researched. In pedestrian catch, we can able to understand the pedestrian walkability. The purple boundary indicated how far a pedestrian can walk in 10 minutes, and the result shows a poor walkability. Slope analysis shows the angle of slopes. The more blue content means a steeper terrain and helps us to decide on building allocation. For more detailed site conditions, we investigated the real condition from Google Map. The images are taken from two parks entries and two major intersections. And all of these intersections show the lack of pedestrian consideration, no cross lights, no pedestrian paths, unwelcome to disabled personnel. Based on this analysis, the first approach is to allocate the megastructure in the gesture of traffic flow. All buildings entries are on a secondary road, which closely connects to a major road. In a traffic perspective, people who work here can choose their best parking slots to depend on where they drive from. Also, when resolving the intersection of pedestrians by megastructure, emerge pedestrian paths with partial driveway into the building's ground floor Pedestrians are able to cross the intersection inside of the building. The building boundary is planned according to the previous analysis and also creates a shorter path toward Westgate Park in the east-west axis. Ideally, the pedestrian can save up to 10 minutes comparing walk on the streets. The inside of the building is generally planned to have offices and a commercial program for the business district, which can be changed into a more residential-focused program. To deal with different conditions, the building arrangement isn't universal across the whole design. Like type 1 building section is 32 meters wide and lower than all the other modules for daylight consideration. Type 2, high module with 80 meters height, the inclination of cantilever designed to gain more daylight for the lower story. Type 3, high module with atrium space in the middle, designed for activities and landscape features. Type 4, high module with large cantilever feature, designed city space for ground floor pedestrians. Type 5, medium module with cantilever, the height is 64 meters from north-south axis. Type 6, medium module with atrium. Type 7, medium module with north-facing daylight setback. In this project, our focus is on the business district. The mega structure composition estimated can be built in 10 years, and connecting more modules into other districts. To achieve the idea of super surface connectivity from the super studio, once the mega structures are all connected, fishermen spend disadvantage in infrastructure would exist no more. Thank you for watching.